Hello, how are you? I'm Dr. Ching. Today I will share with you a new module on common skin tumor. As we know that the etiology of a skin tumor is mainly caused by the sun exposure as well as the presence of different skin phenotype in our patient. And the skin tumor can be classified into benign and malignant. For the common malignant skin tumor are this malignant melanoma, basal cell carcinoma, and squamous cell carcinoma. Malignant melanoma, there are major features and minor features that remind us whether uh, it's subjective of the malignant melanoma. For the major feature is changing size, shape, and color, usually present in 95% of the patient with it. Whereas the minor feature is only less than 50%. Okay, and there are four common types of melanoma, which are superficial spreading melanoma, nodular, this means it's nodular shape, lendico, as well as acral antigenous melanoma. And the prognosis on the histopathological indicators are this vertical growth, presence of oscillation, vascular invasion, recreation, and high number of necrosis. There are four types of treatment options for the primary cutaneous malignant melanoma, which are surgery, elective limb nodalization, cryotherapy, and radiotherapy. And for the recurring disease, the, there are four types of treatment available as well and surgery will be the most common. So usually, how to do the primary prevention? The best way is one to reduce the exposure to the sun. We can uh, seek the shade or wear the protective clothing or apply the sunscreen with SPF at least more than 50. But of course, the campaign to promote early detection and treatment of melanoma will be another way to prevent it. Other common pigmented lesion which are benign are like benign melanocytic nevi, solar lentigens, seborrheic keratosis, dermatofibroma, pigmented basal cell carcinoma. Now we look at the basal cell carcinoma. Usually this is a slow growing tumor and usually is locally invasive and uh, they can disrupt the underlying structure as well. And as usual, the etiology is sun exposure and usually the location of this special cell carcinoma is occur around the head and the neck. And the uh, specific characteristic of this special cell carcinoma is present of ulcer at the center with a raw edge at the surrounding and present of telangiectasia. And diagnosis is through the uh, history, physical examination and biopsy. And there are seven types of treatment options for basal cell carcinoma, which include the curettage, cautery, and others. Now, we talk about the squamous cell carcinoma. This is a malignant epithelial neoplasm which involves the spinous layer of the epidermis. And this is more aggressive and usually happen in the immunocompromised patient. As usual, the sun exposure, common skin inflammation, and the presence of Atenic keratosis, uh, then it will be predisposed them to get this uh, squamous cell carcinoma. And there are four uh, methods for this cancer to be exercised. Either there's local expansion or through the nerve, hematological or lymphatic spread. And squamous cell carcinoma usually is presented with an indirect papule or nodule. And sometimes it can be painful. Bleeding, most important thing, the size will increase rapidly. And usually, not only the, uh, clinically, you need to get the history uh, and then risk factor, as well, you need to get the biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. And histology report usually show there's a presence of pleomorphic keratonocytes sites of varying degrees of differentiation invading the termites. And size does the matter here. The bigger the size, the poorer the prognosis. And there are four methods of treatment option for the squamous cell carcinoma. Either you can perform the surgical excision or curettage, cryotherapy or radiotherapy. And now, 
we move to the common benign skin tumors, which are ethnic keratosis, Barbering disease, and cutaneous horn. For ethnic keratosis, usually you can uh, notify them uh, at the back of the hands or forearm, head and neck, where the sun exposure area, and usually is presented with a multiple or single scaly erythematous pear pupil, and the size usually less than one cm, and this is a pre malignant condition. You can apply, observe, and see because one part of them will disappear spontaneously. If there's persistent, you can uh, choose either you want to proceed with the cryotherapy or the other option. Now we look at Barbarian disease, which is a precancerous condition. Usually this is asymptomatic and slow growing on uh, erythematous patch or plaque. Uh, there's elevated uh, skin lesion. Maybe it can develop into the squamous cell carcinoma later on. And as usual, the diagnosis is made from the biopsy. And there are five types of treatment options for the barren disease. Cutaneous horn. So this is a hyperkeratotic nodular lesion. And the etiology could be due to ethnic keratosis, squamous cell carcinoma, viral ward, or sephoric keratosis. Most important thing, you need to proceed with the biopsy and make sure you rule out the squamous cell carcinoma. Of course, you want to know about other tumors like keratoacanthoma, dermatofibrosarcoma, atypical fibrosanthoma, angiosarcoma, extra memory pages disease, sebaceous carcinoma. You can read on this as well. For us, most important thing, if this is not melanoma, skin tumor, uh, how we need to make the referral, the indication for us to make the referral for non-melanoma skin tumor are if we are not familiarized with the diagnosis, whether this under squamous cell carcinoma or this is a basal cell carcinoma, if we are not sure, we always can refer. We are not familiarized how to manage them or we suspect this aggressive type of basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma, they start increasing, increasing rapidly, we have to refer them urgently. And if, let's say we manage to perform a biopsy and turns out to, the, to be non-melanoma, melanoma skin tumor, we need to refer them as well. Or when we conduct the biopsy, but the margin is not clear, then uh, uh, not completely assigns all these skin tumor, we also need to refer to prevent further metastasis. Okay, with that, I thank you for attention.